Hello, everyone. Welcome to Geek Liu's YouTube channel. My garden is in Northern California, Agriculture Zone Nine B. I've been gardening for a couple of years. This is the first video that I decided to do in English because I want to share my gardening stuff to the people all around the world. Compared to last year. Uh, I've added the height of the raised bed from one feet to two feet, and also I built a、uh, ten feet trellis system. As you can see, they're really high, but it can utilize the three D growth space much better. This year, I had big improvement in my gardening, mainly because of the better management of watering and fertilizing. However, there are two crops. That I still can do well. One of them is lufa, another one is bitter melon, which I don't know why exactly. One of the biggest problem this year is spider mite, and it causes a loss of damage to the beans and also to squash. Another big problem that I realize is the trellis system for the grape is not well designed, so the light can't penetrate the grape leaf very well. So probably next year I will try to make the trellis to be parallel to the ground instead of vertical to the ground this year. Hopefully that can solve the problem. All right, so let's look at the first raised bed, and in this raised bed, as you can see, this is peanuts. So different kinds of peanuts with different colors. On the back, this is New Zealand. Yam, which is also called oka, O C A. On the back, these are、um, potatoes with different colors, like purple, red, and yellow.、Uh, they're almost ready to be harvested. On the back of this raised bed, you can see these are green sweet melons. It's pretty surprising that a single vine. Can generate so much fruits. Very productive. And this year, as I said before,、uh, these vines are on the trellis up to ten feet from the ground. As you can see, it's really, really tall, almost to the sky. Which utilizes a lot of space, actually. And as we walk in, you can see. Another kinds of sweet melon. The color is pretty beautiful. When it fully mature, it'll become, I say, orange color to red. In the second raised bed, these leaves are from、uh, purple sweet potato. It's really really lush. It's gonna have a really good、uh, yield. On the back, this little patch is water spinach, which is very popular in the Chinese community. You can stir fry it. Really, really nice vegetable. As we go around on the back of this raised bed, the first type of melon is golden sweet melon.、Uh, after it become mature, the color will change from green to yellow and or gold. So the second one, this is the、uh, white sweet melon. When they become a little yellow tint, it means they're ready to be harvested. So in the third raised bed,、uh, the first vegetable you see here is salt wort. This is、um, considered as a weed in China, and also, of course, a special vegetable. And on the back of it, this is different colors of amaranth, the purple amaranth and and green amaranth. I guess it's probably because it's pretty dry out here in California. These amaranth typically grow really, really old、uh, and become really chewy. On the back of this raised bed, this is a special type of sweet melon. As you can see, it's. Pretty beautiful on the skin, and again, it's pretty amazing that each vine can provide 
so many fruits, and one of them is growing outside the raised bed. Look at that. So I'm expecting a big harvest from it. This is the first raised bed on the east side.、Um, this pepper is called wrinkle surface pepper. As you can see, lots of wrinkles. And on the right hand side, this is like a spiral pepper. The color is very beautiful, as some of them are already mature and change color. On the back of this、uh, raised bed, this is cassa banana, which is a type of sweet melon that originated in、um, Southern America. It doesn't fruit yet because it's a short、uh, day plant. Hopefully, it can do some fruiting later on. The second raised bed on the east side,、uh, we have、uh, two different kinds of pepper. The first one is called、uh, Hong pepper, which is short but very spicy, very spicy. Also, it produces lots of peppers. And the second one, this is originally from Hunan province in China, and it's also very spicy and very productive as well. On the back of this raised bed, you can see、um, chayote. Right now, there's no fruit because this is a、uh, short day plant, but you can see、uh, there are lots of young tendrils. You can stir fry those; they're very delicious. In the third raised bed, there's、uh, horn pepper, not very spicy, but very productive, very delicious. And on the right hand side. You can see this is also horn pepper, but different color, purple color. Some of them are fell on the ground. We need to give a support to them. On the back of the raised bed, you can see these are grapes. It's called muscat, a blue muscat or purple muscat. Very delicious,、um, really fragrant. On the left hand side, this is yukon.、Um, In the winter, we can harvest the root. The shape is like sweet potato. All right. So on this raised bed, you can see these are the peppers、uh, that grow facing up instead of facing down. So this type is a little fatter, as you can see, sort sort of like a fat bullet.、Uh, same thing goes here. And these two peppers, they also grow upward, but they're much thinner. And all of these peppers, we typically don't eat them raw. We dry them, and store them, and use it as we need it. On the back, we have same type of、uh, grape, and also yukon. All right, now the number five raised bed on the east.、Uh, this raised bed we have sweet peppers. The first one is white. Second one is yellow. Has not turned color yet. Third one is orange. Fourth one is the regular green and、uh, red. The fifth one is purple. Look at the color, very very impressive. The really amazing color. On the back, this is a, a chocolate vine.、Um, it has not set fruit yet. I heard it may need another type of plant to set fruit.、Uh, we'll see. All right, the last raised bed on the east side. This is Chinese chive. You can see lots of flowers, and also lots of bees.、Uh, on the right hand side, this is Chinese onion, the green onion. We use a lot in the Chinese dishes. On the back, this is a、uh, white bean from Yunnan Province, China. It's probably a type of lima bean. Okay, so this is the center raised bed. Uh, we grow a lots of cucumbers here, as you can see. This green cucumber, they grow all over the place. We just can't eat them. This is white cucumber on the ground. Lots of them. And if you keep going, you can see this very、uh, interesting plant.、Uh, look at that fruit. This is called horn melon. Very spiky. And the last cucumber is called fruity cucumber, so you can't let it grow really big because it'll become too mature. 
On the back of the raised bed, you can see the uh, the peppers that grow upward. I've introduced them before, and there are different colors of chart in between them. Grows really well, and this is a special pepper that is really long, like string. It's super spicy as well.、Uh, the yield is very high, though. Let's look at what kind of、uh, tomatoes we grow this year. The first type is、uh, a hybrid type. It grows really well, no cracks, very beautiful fruit, and also it tastes very, very good,、uh, much better than I thought. Surprisingly, the second type is、uh, a very classical heirloom type, a Cherokee purple. As you can see, there are some cracks on the surface.、Uh, it's very hard to prevent this. Very delicious. As we go on the right hand side, you can see this is、uh, cherry tomato. It is also a hybrid type of cherry tomato, sun gold hybrid. The trellis is really high this year, ten feet. As you can see, they grow all the way up, almost into the sky. Very amazing. The other type of Uh, cherry potato is called too tasty hybrid. Personally, I don't like it very much. The skin's very thin and also it cracks, so probably won't grow it anymore next year. All right, this is Casaludo Genovese tomato. Oh my God, this is so hard to pronounce. It looks beautiful, but the taste is actually okay. Um, this is pineapple, tomato, very delicious, very delicious, very sweet. And this is green zebra tomato, really productive, really productive, and it turns a little yellowish when it matures. So the last one, this is called great white tomato. Uh, it is called great white, but it's actually become a little yellowish as it turn、uh, to mature status. Okay,、uh, let's look at what kind of eggplant that I、uh, grow this year. The first one is round eggplant.、Uh, the meat is very tender. It's very delicate. Personally, I like this plant a lot. The second one is a regular、uh, Chinese type of long eggplant,、uh, purple long eggplant. Nothing special, kind of standard. And as we go across here, this is a a string eggplant. So it grows very small, very thin, but longer. So it's supposed to be a little tender than the、uh, its brother. And this is a very special eggplant, as you can see. It's also type of a string eggplant, but it is green. The color is green. Look at that. Very interesting. So I've tried one of these、uh, this year. It's very tender. You can steep them and put some sauce on it. The last one is pretty amazing. This is、uh, a Thai eggplant. And if you look at the the whole plant, it is gigantic. It's really huge. Probably take about、uh, four square feet, or even more, more than that.、Uh, in this raised bed, you can see we grow、uh, some okras. So the first one is red okra. It grows very very fast. Another red okra. So you have to pick them. Very frequently, otherwise they will become really, really old. Lots of fibers, and this is a green okra. Look at the stem, how thick it is. So every few days we have to pick a bunch of okra.、Um, that's the top. You see several okra at the same time growing. So on the top of this, this is、uh, soya bean actually. So I grow this because I want to eat the、uh, the young pods, which is actually also called edamame in English. They grow very very vigorously. All right, so 
Now we're looking at the green beans on the back trellis. This is the green bean with long pot and flat pot. They're actually very delicious. This is the second batch of the uh, green beans. The first batch uh, was damaged by uh, spider mice, unfortunately. So it grows very well and produces lots of pods, as you can see on the wine. The left is witched bean, pretty special bean, but it only grow well on the top of this trellis, probably because the light there is better. Hopefully we can get better yield later on. All right, so as we walk toward this trellis, we can see this is another uh, trellis with different kinds of beans. The first type, it is kind of, we call it oily, oil bean in China. The pot is very fat, uh, really rich flavor. And on the right hand, these are uh, regular green beans, although some of the color are purple. So this is also second batch. The first batch got damaged by uh, spider mites. Uh, they're very productive. All right, so let's look at what's going on here. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. These are the long beans, yard beans. They just grow crazily all over the 10 feet trellis. Incredible. Look at that, almost like a curtain. So for every three to four days, we can harvest one to two pounds. We can't finish them, obviously. Keep growing. So beneath this, these are peppers. The first type of pepper um, is the pepper that we usually collect the tender leaves. But of course, we can also eat the, uh, the pepper, the fruits. The second one is called mocha swirl. It is type of a sweet pepper and the skin is really beautiful, as you can see. It has different colors, different patterns. The left one is very classical pepper, jalapeno. Very productive. The left most is serrano. This is also a classical uh, Mexican pepper, serrano. Okay. So on this wrist bed, we can see we grow watermelon. So watermelon is very interesting that I found after I harvest watermelon, I thought the plant is dying because I saw the leaves are withering, you know, it's not going well. But then I realized after I harvest all the watermelon, it become live again and it starts to produce watermelon again. Meaning that we should harvest watermelon right after it become mature so that the plant can keep growing. And on the front, this is a, uh, uh, the ground bean, meaning that they don't, you know, form a vine or something. So sometimes it's a little hard to harvest beans because most of them are hidden by the leaves. So sometimes, you know, they just grow. So here, this is the tomalillo, but purple type. Very productive and very delicious too. And as we walk toward this area, this is spaghetti squash. It's type, it's type of zucchini, actually. So these are the corn. The first type of corn is called strawberry corn. You can use it as a popcorn, actually. The second one is called glass jam corn. Um, it is very pretty after we open up the, uh, the corn. So this corn is baby chive corn. So you harvest the tender uh, ears and then you stir fry it. So you don't wait until it becomes fully mature. So the last one is very classical sticky sweet corn uh, imported from China. It's really delicious and it grows really tall though. So let's look at the uh, arch aisle area. So as we walk through it, we can see these are um, lufa, white lufa, another small lufa, long lufa. 
different kinds of loofah. And this is bitter melon, white bitter melon, another white bitter melon. And at the end, this is snake bean. So let's look at the uh, small pumpkins. The first one is the orange type called Jack Belittle. Very cute. Very small. The second one is very classic Japanese type of small pumpkin. Very delicious. Very sweet. And as you can see, it also grow on the top of this trellis, arch trellis. So here, this is yellow small pumpkin. I don't know what's the English name, but it's pretty cute and very productive. The last one is called corn candy plus uh, a hybrid pumpkin. Okay, as we walk through the tunnel, we can see these are wax melons, also called winter melon. This type is long and blackish. And this type is long and green, but eventually it will have uh, some powder covered on the surface. This is a short type, also will be covered by the powder when it gets really matured. Um, as we go down here, these are pumpkins. Um, these are pumpkins. The first one um, is long pumpkins, very sweet. The second one, this yellow one, is also a type of pumpkin, different kinds. So here, this is fig leaf gourd. Not sure why it doesn't even flower. Maybe it is short day plants. So we'll see. And the last one is Turkish turban pumpkin. Very cute. This is the asparagus uh, raised bed. As you can see, for some reason, uh, I managed the water and fertilizer better this year. They grow really well. So asparagus has male and female plants. Only the female plant produce fruits, as you can see here. Technically, we shouldn't select these female plants because we want uh, to use the male plants only, which can focus on the growth of the leaves and the stem only. All right, so let's look at uh, what kind of grape I grow this year. The first one is seedless blue muscat. Uh, the leaves have some reddish pattern, you can see. Based on internet check, this is probably uh, a virus. Hopefully next year, it can heal itself. But the fruit is still very delicious. And beneath this, uh, this is alien hookery. It is pretty much a special type of Chinese chives. The second grape that I grow on here, this is white seed musket. So it certainly has seed because this is very old variety of grape. Uh, as you can see, there's lots of powder mildew on it because of the light. The third grape, this is seeded blue musket, another old grape variety. Together, uh, we grow some taro. We have big taro and small taro in the fourth race bed together with a different type of grape. As we walk along here, you can see that's the other taro I'm talking about. And this grape is muscadine. As you can see here, a lot of fruit are forming. Okay. Some powder mildew here, same thing. Okay, as we walk along here, we can see this is another grape, uh, Concord, actually. Very productive and very um, disease resistant. 
Together, we grow some special type of ginger、um, in China. This kind of ginger, so it grow really tall. And but we typically eat its flower or tender shoots. Just look at the、um, Concord fruits.、Uh, let's try one here. Let's try one. Pretty sweet, actually. Okay, and let's walk toward the last type of grape. This grape, it is also very classical. It is called Kyoto grape. Uh, it has not matured yet, but it will. All right. Before I forgot,、uh, this is the、uh, plant called katak. So we usually eat the、uh, the tender leaves, but we can't eat too much of it because it is said it can be poisonous. Very interesting plant. All right. So let's look at these raised bed.、Um, underground. We grow different kinds of peanuts.、Um, initially, the、uh, spider mites cause lots of damage, but、um, after I spray them with water multiple times,、uh, looks like they're okay right now. So you just have to be a little diligent.、Uh, unfortunately, most of the passion fruit that grow in this raised bed they died off during the winter because of the temperature. This is the only one that survived, and as you can see, it grew pretty vigorously. But、um, it does flower. The thing is, it doesn't set fruit that much.、Uh, the main reason is probably the light is not enough. And this raised bed is a super high raised bed, three feet, and I grow Chinese yam in it. As you know, the Chinese yam need very deep soil, so that's why I build it so high.、Uh, if you look at the leaves, they're very prolific, very, very, very prolific.、Um, probably because I put、uh, lots of water and fertilizer this year.、Uh, isn't that pretty? Under the sunlight, it grows really tall. As the raised bed are already tall to start with. All right, so these raised bed are on the north side of my house,、uh, in between the fence. They're a pretty shady area.、Uh, we grow lilies here, tiger lily, Japanese type and Chinese type.、Uh, both of the bulbs are edible. So pretty amazing plant. And this is orange day lily. And unfortunately, they are not edible. The flower not edible.、Um, I was supposed to buy the yellow day lily, but unfortunately, they sent me the wrong stuff. If you keep walking, you can see there are a couple of plants that actually are the yellow day lily. The flower are edible, and this one probably you don't know. This is、uh, called fetal neck fern. Believe it or not, the young shoots are edible. Lots of Chinese like it very much. So now let's look at the、uh, strawberries that grow in the pots. Grow really well. You can see. Very prolific. Yeah, we harvest the、uh, strawberry many times.、Uh, the system has three layers, as you can see here. One, two, three. Uh, in general, it works very well, and the main reason we grow this、uh, on the rack is because we don't want the、uh, fruits to be eaten by small animals, by the、um, box in the ground. This is another system this year established, which is、um, hanging a、uh, growing pot along the raised bed, and also hand this pot. On the conduit. In this case, we can save a little, little bit more、uh, space. Basically, they grow in the air. And one thing I want to mention here is the water system, auto water system. As you can see, there is a ceramic comb inserted in the in the in the soil. 
the water can slowly drip out from that、uh, cone. Works pretty well. Now this plan we're looking at is Chinese mock worth. It is a kind of a wild、uh, vegetable in China.、Uh, it's very pungent actually, so it grows pretty well here. Uh, the plant grow on this big pot is、uh, dragon fruit. As you can see here,、um, we need a rack. We need a support system for this plant.、Uh, technically, the the branches underneath should all be removed so that the top can grow. And luckily, I found a little flower bud on the plant. Hopefully, it can give us some fruit this year. Uh, this area, you guys may be familiar with. They are herbs.、Uh, we have twelve here. They are thyme, rosemary, oregano, sage, chive, lemon mint, stevia, tarragon, marjoram, winter savory, lemon balm, and peppermint. All of them grow pretty well. And they actually like partial shade, so I put them here to avoid、uh, very strong afternoon sun here. Now let's look at these、uh, tree seedlings, young trees. The first one is Indian dates,、uh, green dates.、Uh, behind it, this is Chinese bayberry. Very hard to grow. This one is a thin leaf. This is macadamia, kind of nuts. This one is white sapote, white sapote, very sweet. Also called ice cream、uh, fruit. This one is achacha. I'm not sure if you can make it. The left one is hawthorn,、uh, Chinese hawthorn, and the left one is squawa. It grows pretty well, and surprisingly, it has some flowers already. The flower is really pretty. Hopefully,、uh, we can get some fruits. So,、uh, this one is pomegranate. It is a soft-seeded pomegranate. Look at the flowers of this、uh, guava. Very special, huh? All right. In this area, we have、uh, pomelo young trees. One of them is、uh, yellow fresh. One of them is、uh, pinkish fresh. So both are very good, very sweet. Hopefully, we can、uh, get some fruit out of it. So this one is a long fruit mulberry. In fact, I got a fruit、uh, earlier this year with this young tree. It tastes really delicious. And this little young tree is actually called、uh, tiger grape. It is one of the rarest、uh, fruit probably in the world. It looks pretty interesting if you Google it online,、um, but it's very hard to grow here. Has、uh, some troubles. This little tree here is called Chinese swamp pea.、Uh, as you know, it is originated from China. Uh, it is rarely seen in the U.S. All right, so in this area, the first one we see here is、uh, artichoke, very common vegetable in the U.S. And this is kind of、um, a mint, not sure exactly what it is in, in English. And this is Thai basil. This is another、uh, mint that can be used as medicine in Chinese. And also as a herb in some of a、uh, uh, famous dish, so this is ch called Chinese artichoke.、Uh, basically, we harvest the roots, like、um, very interesting shape, like spiral shape roots. If we go here, this is moringa.、Um, basically, we eat the、uh, the young leaf. All right, so let's take a look at a vegetable grow underneath the、um, townhouse structure. The first one is watercress, 
very uh, common classical vegetable. The second one is water celery. Uh, grows pretty well under the shady area. The third one is uh, East Asian wild parsley. Doesn't grow very well under the shade. And this one is also famous in China, Indian aster. Next one is Indian chrysanthemum. This one is edible ginura. Doesn't grow very well under the shade either. And this is very famous uh, herb. It's called Vietnamese coriander. It is used to cook the seafood. And the next one is called chameleon plant. It has a strong fishy smell, and a lot of people can get used to the smell. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, plants that I grow on the top of the townhouse structure. The first one is bay leaf. I've used it to cook pork. Uh, really nice and fragrant. These two plants are Cedium izun. Pretty meaty uh, leaves. Not very common though. And this huge herb plant is shiso. As you can see the leaves on the back. Uh, they're having a uh, purple color. Uh, it grows crazy, almost like a little tree here. It's very common use in um, Asian cooking, actually. But it's pretty strong flavor, though. Uh, in this area, the first one is a ruhop. You can use it to make uh, uh, jam. The second one is Japanese knotweed. You should only grow in the pot. It could be invasive. And this is the lemongrass. Uh, I grow into a really big pot this year. And the last one is uh, Phinium. Um, people in the south in China use the big leaf of this to make rice dumpling. On the back, these are two grapes. On the right hand, uh, this is a um, the white musket grape, seedless. The left one is, uh, I don't know what it is actually, uh, I got it from a, a small market. Uh, it looks like it's like a, a grape to make the wine, doesn't taste very well. Let's look at the uh, front yard water plants. The first one is arrowhead. Uh, we harvest the root. The second one is lotus. We also eat the root. And on the back, this is Manchuria wild rice. When the stem got uh, enlarged, we harvest them and eat the, the stem. It's not ready yet. Uh, one of the problem is I add too much soil. So next year probably will reduce the amount of soil. And this one is water chestnut. And this one is water cow drop. Also harvest the, uh, the root in the winter. And the last one is Bull rush. So this one is very interesting. We uh, harvest the underneath stem that's um, hidden in the soil. It is pretty delicious vegetable actually. Uh, very unique also. So on the side of the house, this is a special type of Sichuan pepper. As you can see, the leaves are very different from the regular Sichuan pepper and the fruits are green and we use this as herb as spice um, tastes very good it's really fragrant uh, the next one this is a very special tree that probably most people don't know what it is uh, it is called chinese angelica tree so we eat the uh, tender shoes in the spring and it didn't grow very well because uh, the light here is not well penetrated so next year probably move to other place all right this is uh, my uh, pomegranate tree uh, soft seed pomegranate tree as you can see here the little fruit down there and I'm planning to graft this pomegranate tree to my regular pomegranate tree so that I only have one tree kind of save space all right this one is a uh, regular uh, Sichuan pepper trees, as you can see, the, the, the leaves are very different from that one uh, I previously introduced. 
so it doesn't fruit that much this year. And this one is also pretty special.、Uh, it is called Cha Om, C H A O M. So the tender leaf can be used、uh, as stir fry with eggs.、Um, it smells really bad, but it tastes very well. So very interesting plant. And this one, most people are familiar with. This is raspberry.、Uh, has lots of、uh, spikes on it. Uh, pretty dangerous. Sometimes you can get poked. So,、um, also grows really well here. Harvest many times. On the back, this is a young avocado tree, and this variety can be self-pollinating.、Uh, actually,、um, so no fruit yet. Maybe next year it will start to set some fruit. Kind of um, um, expecting it. And on the corner, we can see this is everybody knows、uh, a lemon tree.、Um, pretty productive, and I don't like lemon that much, so I only grow this in the pot. This one is pomelo tree. As you can see, it grows a little too tall, a、uh, little skinny because the light again here is not very well. And this is a black goji berry tree. Not a tree; it's actually a bush. You can see lots of flower on it, so I'm expecting、uh, some harvest. And black goji berry is actually healthier than the regular goji berry. So the plant on this location is fortunately、uh, a bad location. This is a、um, blueberry that suffers a little bit because of the sunlight is not enough here. So next year, definitely move it to somewhere else. And this is another blueberry, as you can see,、uh, quite a bit of fruit on there. Pretty delicious as well. All right, so this is a blackberry that I grow in the pot. A blackberry. It has lots of、um, spikes on it. Pretty dangerous as well, but also very productive. And moving here, this is regular mulberry. It didn't、uh, give us、uh, lots of fruit this year because probably it's still too young. On the、uh, right-hand side, this is a fig tree.、Uh, even though it's a small tree, it gives us lots of fruit, and it's really, really sweet.、Uh, I don't like fig that much, so I grow it in a pot. But it's good enough. And here, this is、uh, regular goji berry. As you can see, the leaves are very narrow. It set a little bit of flower, but not fruit yet. Probably is still too young because I grow from the、uh, the true seed.、Um, this corner is a fully shaded area.、Uh, we have a plant called wasabi. And as you can see, the leaves were damaged by I don't know what kind of bug damaged it, unfortunately. But it will grow back in the、uh, winter. Okay, let's take a look at the、uh, fruit trees in the backyard.、Uh, the first one, as you can see here, this is juju.、Um, it will turn red when it got mature. Very sweet, very delicious, high productive. But the light here is not ideal. Hopefully next year I can do something to improve it. And this one, this is a、um, mandarin tree. I see a little fruit here. Hopefully in the winter we ha have a good harvest. Many fruit on it actually, here and there. So it flowers in the、uh, early summer, but then set fruit in the winter. Very interesting plant. All right, and this big bush has been several years since I planted. This is pomegranate tree. It's regular、um, pomegranate tree. You can see the little bug on it.、Uh, will turn red. 
All right, so this huge、um, bush is actually sugar cane. I grow from very small seedling, and now look at that.、Uh, we typically harvested it in、um, from November to February, I think. Yeah, it will become really sweet. And this is bamboo. This is a very special type of bamboo that the young shoots,、uh, you can eat them directly. We call it fruity bamboo shoot. Very special.、Uh, for most bamboo, you need to actually boil it first to remove the bitterness. But this one, you can、uh, directly eat it. Pretty amazing. So, not sure if it can do well in California. And this is、uh, a regular bamboo. Called、uh, Mosul bamboo, yeah. And as I can see a expand pretty rapidly. And this one I grow from true seed. It's very amazing that how big it grows、uh, from a very a small seed.、Uh, this big bush is actually also blackberry that I grow it in the ground in the front yard. It gives us.、Uh, Many rounds of harvest, but now some、uh, rest better mind on it. Okay, the plant down here is called pepino, so you have to trim the leaves and stems、um, to allow the fruit to grow. And this is pear tree, as you can see,、um, a lot of pears. Unfortunately, the tree got. Uh, fire blight this year, so I'm not sure it can survive. It can make it to the next year. Hopefully, it can.、Uh, it gives us really, really delicious food. And this disease is not treatable, unfortunately. So already cut off one branch, and unfortunately, it got into the main branch, meaning that it's very hard to save, to be honest. So let's see how strong it is. Hopefully, it can give us a miracle. Otherwise, have to、uh, replace it. And this is、uh, grape. You can see this is、uh, Thompson seedless grape.、Uh, pretty productive, but as you can see, they're very small because the light here is not good. On this panel trellis,、uh, you can see this is、uh, flame seedless grape. Again, they're very small because the light here is not good. Next year. Will change the way of how to put them on the trellis. Hopefully, can improve. So the last tree here is apple tree. Most people know what it is.、Um, it doesn't give us many apples, probably because the tree is still too young and it's still、um, in the growing stage. And it's a multi-grafted tree, so I need to balance out the growth rate of different branch.、Uh, not an easy job at all. And there's a big apple down there. All right, this、uh, is another tree、uh, we call it pluwa tree. Very common fruit,、uh, pretty productive. But、uh, as you can see, the leaves are damaged early in the spring by some、uh, bacteria. But this disease is fortunately treatable, so now it's much better. And these row of tree, they are actually Chinese tune. I grow them, like last year. Looks very healthy, and we eat the young tender shoots. We stir fry them with eggs.、Ah, very very amazing, really delicious. Lots of Chinese like it. So on this corner, you can see this is the、uh, new composting system that I. Put together this year, and this is one of the machine that can shred all of the、uh, the stems, you know, that I cut off from the plant. This is a trash bin in the garden, so hopefully can give me some good compost. All right, so I guess it's time to wrap up.、Um, almost fifty minute now. I just realized how difficult to translate everything into English, and I realized how poor my English is because, to be honest, I don't know how to say many things in English for all kinds of plants, vegetables, 
and some of the、uh, segment like ten minutes, I spent even an hour on it to look them up in the dictionary, translate it, I learn how to pronounce it, and put them together in the video. So it's ton of work. Anyway,、uh, this year I think I got a lots of improvements in terms of growing because I managed the watering and fertilizing much better than last year. Also because I add the raised bed from one feet to two feet and fill them with fresh soil, so the vegetable grow much better this year and than the previous years.、Uh, that's something good. But there are some problem. One of them is the red spider mites,、uh, that I will try to control them next year early stage by spray some water on it. Also, the trellis system I need to improve,、um, change from vertical position to、um, parallel position for the grapes. And the last thing would be uh, the uh, luffa and bitter melon.、Uh, if you know how to grow them better in California, let me know. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please click like, and if you like the channel, please subscribe. If you want to comment on the stuff that I grow, please leave your comment down there. Thank you very much again. See you soon.